Hello folks, this is again 2020, May, June, paper 1-3 and the question number is 9. Uh, it's about the chapter of uh, kinematics or let us say forces also, we can say. The resultant force F on a raindrop of mass M falling vertically with speed V is given by the equation F equal to mg minus kV square. Where K is a constant, constant and G is the uh, assumption of free fall. So actually it is concerned about to uh, uh, the existence of opposing forces so which would, could be viscous force, drag force or the sum of both of them. The falling raindrop eventually reaches a constant terminal velocity. So that's why because of the opposing forces it somehow reaches a constant velocity. Now which graph shows the variation of the terminal velocity of the raindrop with mass m? So till now we used to do only the variation of uh, the velocity with the time. So now it is we have to see the uh, variation with along with mass. So that's why let's uh, change the equation here. We have to go for velocity versus mass. So that's why this kV square should be this side. So kV square should be equal to mg minus f. Now when it reaches terminal velocity, the resultant force should be zero. The resultant force should be equal to zero. So that's why this is zero. What remains is kV square equal to simply mg. And this gives us, this is a v square is equal to mg divided k. Now since we have to see the variation according to mass, I have to separate this thing. So v square equal to uh, g by k and then m. So now this equation resembles something like this. y square is equal to some constant x. So if you have this sort of equation, then the graph of y and x would be a parabola. Will a parabola which, uh, which bends towards the x-axis which bends towards x-axis. So that's why here we should have a parabola which will be bending towards uh, the m-axis. So such parabola exists only in choice number B. Such parabola only exists in choice number B. And initially, uh, when... Uh, uh, so, so it's a perfect parabola actually, perfect parabola. Uh, so B and C also could be the answer. Let us say, uh, let us remove this A and D and C also could be answered. But what happens is, this has to go towards x axis uh, right from the beginning. From beginning. So beginning at the beginning when m is zero, this terminal velocity is zero, definitely. So as soon as m increases, there should be some velocity. But here what happens is at the zero mass it has got some velocity. So when mass is zero, it can't have a velocity. So it shows somewhat like that. So this also is a wrong choice, and the only correct choice is this much. So here let us see. Zero mass, it has got this velocity, this, 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 which is not true. So at zero mass, zero velocity. And as soon as mass rises, some velocity. When mass rises further, again some velocity and so on. So B is correct and this C is not correct.